right, welcome back to Antihero Games. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Uh, Michael and Jeffrey's top ten. Hey, how you guys doing? I am Jeffrey. My name is Michael. We have a special guest, Ivan. Say hi. Yo, what's up? Yeah, we have uh, what's up, we, people. We known Ivan for a while, right, Michael? Oh yeah, we've known him for quite some time. I know him longer. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, what we have today is our top ten wrestlers from the Raw era. Era. Era, era, era. <laughs> You're butchering it, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> well, how am I butchering it? Oh, yeah, I didn't even mention the the next one. No, okay, so this is the um, top ten '90s era attitude era attitude wrestlers. Era. Not raw. Not raw. <laughs> <laughs> well, raw was part of it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're gonna say our top ten. Uh, wrestlers at number 10 i kind of have like a lot of wrestlers but we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> yeah <laughs> um all right so well everyone remember that our episodes do come out every wednesday at 12 a.m sleepy time sleepy time hour <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to catch some sleep early in the morning at 12 a.m we'll be there and we'll be ready uh, every Wednesday today we have uh, our music music guest. Oh uh, yeah, we have our music guest. Uh, five years later, we're gonna feature another song. It's uh, called Brad Pitt. Ooh, so, take a look at that one. Come halftime. And then uh, anything else? Uh, no. Catch us on YouTube. Yeah. We still have our Disney Channel original movie video up we want to we're probably gonna put some a little little videos on our youtube you know uh us having a good old time doing things and whatnot yeah let us know if you guys actually like the videos we'll keep doing it if you do and don't forget to email us if you want to be a guest on your show yeah if you want to be a guest on your show you can uh tell us a few ways you got um uh we got us on instagram michael and jeffrey's dot top 10 we're on Facebook, Michael and Jeffrey's Top 10. And we're, uh, I'm sorry, we have an email, Michael and Jeffrey's Top 10 at gmail.com. Give us a holler. If you want to be on the show, go for it. We want to have you. Cool. And we're worldwide, right, Michael? We're international. World- <laughs> <laughs> worldwide, baby. We're in 17 whole countries, baby. So thank you, all your listeners out there. Thank you, our international listeners, for uh, actually listening to us and giving us a chance. That's that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, WWF. That's what I grew up on. Mm-hmm. I grew up on WWF. I mean, they changed to WWE when they got to like the Ruthless Aggression era, which is a good era. But... WWF attitude, Raw is war. What's the first thing you remember from uh, wrestling, Ivan? Everything at. <laughs> I mean, I was. It was one of the. I mean, pretty much the top entertainment form growing up for me. Like, I was always watching wrestling. Like, everybody at school pretty much knew, so you had to kind of watch to keep talking about it. This gets pretty much like a TV show. Everyone but Jeffrey. (laughs) (laughs) I'll be honest. I I don't know too much, but you guys got me into it through other sources, not through the actual (laughs) TV show. So, How did you uh, usually get your wrestling, your wrestling, Jeffrey? Uh, You know, just through video games. Only when I went to to Ivan's house, actually. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't, did I mention it in the last podcast? I uh, probably not. I didn't put a wrestling game on my my list. No, did you I have did. one? Yeah, yeah, I had a uh, SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, that was a good. One. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's the most extent. Uh, and through memes, I love memes. Some wrestling memes. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of good ones. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, cool. Uh, me growing up, dude, it's, it was the same. Every Monday, 
I was watching Raw every single Monday. We didn't skip until we got to the Monday Night Wars where I was going back and forth to Nitro and Raw. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Bro, those are the days. Because Nitro yeah. would come out at 8. So you'd have a whole hour of wrestling before you had to keep going back and forth for an hour. Yeah. And then you ended with Raw's fucking like yeah, main event. Hour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Their main event was usually like sick. WCW, yeah. their whole show was cool. You know what I mean? Like from start to finish. Yeah, yeah. And the wrestling was great and shit. And like they had the superstars, but like WWF and the or WWE now in the main event and shit and those storylines oh yeah the storylines were always like there's there's so many and they're like there's some were like funny some were just flat out weird <laughs> it, was, it just had like everything remember the may young and mark henry shit <laughs> yeah <of> <laughs> you remember that jeffrey that no oh my Dude. god you should tell me about it though later <laughs> later well i mean he's not on my list no sexual, i know that's why, sexual yes. chocolate we could talk about it right now we could do honorable honorable mention yeah honorable honorable yeah. mention at number 11 uh all around sexual is chocolate sexual <laughs> chocolate mark henry <laughs> Fuck, you, you tell the story ivan of what him and may young yeah <laughs> i don't even remember how it started but they were just he like and may young is like a at the time, she was like an eighty, at yeah. least, right? Like yeah, eighty year old woman. At like, least, she was a former wrestler, like from way back in the day. Yeah, in the 50s. one of the pioneering her picture, wrestlers. Yeah, her, her pictures were always in black and white. That's how you knew that she was a veteran. <laughs> like, she got she got yeah. um, power bombed through a table by Bubba. Dudley. Yeah, no, that's what I was saying. Like, she was, yeah. every, she she was, was sick. Is she the one that looks like she, Betty White. She, she, yeah. <laughs> She should get an honorable mention. For sure. Um, but yeah, fucking Mae Young and Mark Henry were just, they were they had like a, I don't know, like a love thing going on. Yeah, of course. course. And, and so uh, Mae Young ended up becoming pregnant. No. Yeah. You're, so that's May, what they said. That was the story. <laughs> that was the story, yeah. So Mae Young is pregnant or whatever. And then Bubba Ray uh, fucking power bombs her through the table. Mm-hmm. And so when... Uh, I think like she gets hurt or something like that, and then she ends up having like, <laughs> like birth <laughs> through the power ball on live TV. No, no, no. Like, like, no. Like, 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 like it's a like separate. Later on. Yeah, later on oh, or something. Okay. And she's like, oh, my water broke, and I'm like, you know, like the whole skit. <laughs> now I gotta watch that, bro. <laughs> fucking, and then so she ends up giving birth to a fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hand. Just a hand <laughs> covered up in like petroleum jelly. <laughs> they showed it. They showed it. They showed the hand. <laughs> so like shit she like also, that, dude. She also showed her freaking boobs on on one of the pay per views. Remember? No, I don't remember that. <laughs> yes, she did. She took. Oh her yeah, on one yeah, of the yeah, yeah. On 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 one of the like the king the king's uh, yeah. He was, shows you know, or whatever. Was all, yeah, all, all about the, the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then May Young showed up and she was right there. All right, so honorable mention: <laughs> Sexual Chocolate, Mark Henry, oh, and yeah. May Young. We love you guys. Uh, but we're gonna go and go ahead and start with the countdown. All so right. without further ado, Jeffrey, what's your number ten, bro? All right. So mine's are going to be pretty short. Uh, like how we kind of mentioned earlier, I didn't watch too much, but I dabbled and through, through other ways. Oh, yeah. But one thing I do remember watching, Val Venus. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. <Yeah. laughs> he was a lady killer. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I remember he would come out with that towel. Mm-hmm. And he'd Thanks do the it. fucking. Oh, oh my god! What do you call that move where you put it through your your legs like that? <laughs> oh yeah, the towel. <laughs> Is that called something? <laughs> I don't know. It's yeah, like <laughs> the Val Venus. <laughs> <laughs> Should name it after him. I know. Huh? And then he'd have a. Uh, but his story. Do you remember what his story was? I I just know he would. 
He was was he really a porn star? That was like his that's story. That's his backstory. But yeah. No, yeah no, no, okay. No, that's that's all I know about him. But <laughs> I just remember every time he come up from his entrance, he's just. Is it that hello, yeah. ladies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello, ladies. <laughs> Is that like make out with the girl from the crowd or something too? No? What? Oh no! Yeah, yeah. he would. He, he would. Like, or he would bring. Wouldn't he bring in a girl to the ring? Something like that. Something. Yeah. There was and, always like a girl. Yeah, and he would like. So like he would come out with a towel, and so like he would like. Yeah, no, he would show someone his dick or something, wouldn't he? <laughs> what? I don't remember <laughs> that. W- w- wouldn't he show so, like, them? He'd co- like he'd like, cover he'd... like the corner, huh? Yeah, he would and like cover the corner. And the girl would like. With the towel, yeah, <laughs> it was something, dude. Do, they were doing. Do you remember like the storyline with the? I don't. I think they were the like it was a, like a Japanese wrestler or something. Um, like Kaintai. I think so. They were like they hated him because that fool slept with like one of the oh, sisters yeah. or something with Mister Fuji's daughter or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were trying Mr. to off his dick, <laughs> I see it right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, that was fucking... Val Venus was, a, was funny, dude. Oh, yeah. He had one of the best splashes, though. Fucking top rope splashes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. His, he had some good moves. He would do that, like, fucking... That little dance on the top mm-hmm. rope. Mm-hmm. And then fucking, like, do that big splash. That was, like, his... Wasn't that his finisher? I think so. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember his if he had another one. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. That's a good pick right there, Jennifer. Yep, that's uh yeah. He was a. He was definitely a showboater. I oh liked yeah, it. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, my number ten. All right. Uh, Ivan, what's your number ten? All right. Well, starting off the list for me, number ten, I have the Big Show. Ooh. <laughs> He's higher up on my oh, list. Oh yeah? yeah, he did not make my list. What? Yeah, oh. no, he didn't. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a tough ahead. list. No, but the Big Show. He, well, he's been there forever. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if he still wrestles, but back then, I remember when he first. I believe the first time he came out was when, I think Stone Cold was wrestling someone in like a steel cage match. And then out of nowhere, he came out from under the ring and then threw him onto the cage. But because he threw him so hard, he broke the cage. So Stone Cold was able to get out. So he ended up winning. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, ever since then, I mean, he's just, he was always the biggest wrestler Every time, like, nobody, like, stood a chance. I remember every time he'd get in the rumble, everybody would just stop and be like, let's get him. There'd yeah. be, like, ten guys <laughs> yeah. just trying to, Try to take, take him out. Him down. He, yeah. he would take out five with him or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> then he just swings his arm and takes out, like, three. So he was just, he's been great. And, I mean, he was never, like, the the main guy. He was just always either, like, Vince was making him do all the stuff. But... He had some great matches with all the top, all the other pretty much play people on my top list. So mm. he made the cut for me. He made the cut. Number 10. All right. Yep. Um, My number 10 is actually going to be a little curveball here. Oh, great. Because I had, I had to, like, you got to give big ups to, like, all these people. These these guys were part of our childhood, dude. Like <laughs> for sure, you know. And um, so I'm gonna add the tag team division in that Attitude Era. Fucking, you got the Dudley Boys. You got Jeff uh, yeah, Jeff Hardy Boys. You got <laughs> <laughs> the Hardy Boys. <laughs> you got the Hardy Boys. <laughs> no, you got Edge and Christian, the Acolytes, bro. You had fucking um. No, it was the grand era of the oh, yeah. team. Yeah. Probably yeah, probably the Bradshaw, Edge Christian. Yeah, dude, like all of them. That the TLC matches, that that TLC match at WrestleMania, which one was it? WrestleMania 17, I think. Bro. Stole the fucking show. TLC oh, 2. Yeah. Dude. 
like that that power bomb. I mean, power bomb that spear from uh, Edge to Jeff Hardy off the ladder, dude. Yeah. No, they went like super all out, and it was incredible. Yeah, it was a great time for tag team matches, dude, or for tag teams in particular. Um, yeah. And then you had uh, Too Cool. Also, remember Too Cool? Fucking yeah, Scotty always- Too Hotty. And yeah. Grandmaster Sex say they had uh, yeah. fucking Scotty. Too- What's up? Oh, I said Scotty Too Hotty and the worm. Eh. Oh, I know. He fucking <laughs> bust out that worm and they come out with rock- with uh, fucking Rikishi. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that whole dance shit. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Fucking number 10. Shout out to all these tag teams out there. Fucking great. Well, what's your top tag team? My, t- <laughs> my top tag team, dude. Oh. Oh, do you guys hear it? Do you guys hear it? It's the train. It's the train. We can hear it. We still haven't got a confirmation if they can hear it. <laughs> Please let us know, guys, if you can hear the train. <laughs> we did change mic, so we can't tell. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Uh, anyways. Yeah, number 10, tag team division. Uh, probably my best, or my favorite, sorry. Hardy Boys. Yeah. For sure. Jeff Hardy fucking doing swanton bombs and them coming off the ladder and shit. That shit was sick. What's your favorite tag team, Ivan? Probably the same. I would hmm. say because I actually have one on my list. <laughs> hey, oh. all right, okay. I like the Dudley Boys. A oh. bunch of nerds, bro. <laughs> yeah, Devon, <laughs> got the tables. <laughs> that shit got gave me goosebumps. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a fucking table. Someone's gonna go through a fucking table right now. <laughs> and Bubba Ray, every t- after he would power bomb him, his face he would always be all crazy. Oh he yeah, he just sick. like sit there, and just stay, like the openness. And- <laughs> <laughs> oh man but yeah number 10 tag team division um at number nine i have kurt angle no. <laughs> this is when kurt angle you had hair <laughs> you suck you suck <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kurt Angle had the sickest submission other than Bret Hart. That's a fucking angle lock, dude. Or the ankle lock. Oh, yeah. Bro, no. I mean, when he would actually get it, the first Olympic gold medalist in the <laughs> WWF. You know what I'm saying? Is that true? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, it's, that oh it's true. <laughs> it's damn, it's damn true. true. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, Jeffrey? <laughs> it's an Olympic gold medalist, damn it. <laughs> Fucking nation hero. <laughs> but yeah, like his whole thing, he came from the Olympics. He had his gold medal that he'd always flaunt with him. He'd always fucking use his gold medal as a weapon and shit. Um, but he had great matches with like everyone. He caught on like yeah. super quick, super quick. He had like no like training in that aspect and like the wrestling entertainment aspect yeah and he just yeah he just caught on really quick that angle slam also that's sick he'd do it off the rope shit too off the top ropes to shit i know a lot of people would do too but he would do like the multiple suplexes huh oh yeah he'd do the three suplexes yeah he just wouldn't let you go and suplex and then pick you up and suplex that was always one of my favorite like styles, like yeah. the amateur wrestling style kind of thing. Like his style, yeah, for sure. No, yeah, like his grappling and all that stuff. It was cool. Like he had sick moves. Yeah, I think when he when he was uh, when he shaved his head in the ruthless aggression era, I think that's like the best Kurt Angle for sure. But in the Attitude era, when he was just beginning, <clears throat> it was still cool. Remember, he had that match with Shane McMahon. That fucking hardcore yeah. match? Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. That shit was sick. Remember, Jeffrey? Yeah. No, I'm, <laughs> I just looked at it right now. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> Catching up. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude. Sick. He's a uh, um what he has four he's a four time WWE champion. He won the world heavyweight champion, the intercontinental champion, tag team, European, hardcore. He went around the world, bro. Mm -hmm. Great. Fucking. It was good. He was good in TNA also. But, yeah. Number nine, Kurt Angle. Did I make my list? No. Mm -mm. Remember he did that thing with uh, Stone Cold? They had the cowboy hats on. They were singing Kumbaya or whatever. Oh, yeah, randomly. Yeah. But all right, I remember yeah. Why. Uh, I think it's just because they were kissing Vince McMahon's ass or something like that. No problem. But that's uh, my number nine. What's your number nine, Ivan? All right, so number nine actually calls back to your number ten. I had Jeff Hardy, but you could also throw in Matt Hardy, like because they do both of them were pretty much my favorite tag team just because of their like well mainly Jeff Hardy his aerial whatever maneuvers I guess you want to call them and him just pushing the limits like at all times remember like before him like surely they had like ladder matches and stuff but they weren't jumping out of the ring from the ladder head first you know with the swan tom bombs and then the whole, um, like with how you said, with all the other tag team, like the TLC, like it just took them to a whole nother level. Like they were stacking tables and then using the ladders on top of the tables. It's like tables upon tables. <laughs> yeah. So it was just ridiculous. And he was always the one, like I said, he was doing the most. He was jumping off the in arenas, like where the entrances are, <laughs> like he's jumping off those things. So. Oh, the Titan Tron? Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck, he always yeah. had like, memorable moments, you know? So mm-hmm. I felt like he deserved to be on the list because he had a lot of high flying moments. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Fucking Jeff Hardy, the Swanton Bomb. Bro. Uh, yeah, that. I had a homie. He had a trampoline in his backyard. And we would do Swanton Bombs from the. Top of the <laughs> fence onto the trampoline and shit, trying to do the best swans on and shit. Because that, that shit was hard. Is that backflip, pretty much? <sighs> Which one's that one? <laughs> Which one is that one? That's the that's the one where like uh he flips, like he he starts to flip, but he's like in, in the air, he's kind of like it's as if he's gonna go sh- head first, but mm-hmm. then he does a flip at the end. Mm. And like his body kind of does like a V in the air. I don't know. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so it's really, he like he like front flips, but it's like really slow, so it looks like if he's about to land on his head. Yeah, but it's, then it's like like he finishes mm, the flip really close mm. to like at the end. Yeah, it's one of the best fucking finishing moves of all time, for okay. sure. And he does it off of anywhere, anything. Yeah, and it's like the same thing. It's not like just a flip. It's a swanton. <laughs> it's a swanton it's a, bomb. It's a front flip. Got it. It's a bomb. Man. It's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my number nine. All right. Nice. Fucking, what's your number nine, Jeff? My number nine, my boy Rikishi. Hey, he's my number oh, yeah. eight. Oh. <laughs> Did you make yours, Ivan? No. no. What? <laughs> It didn't make your list. You don't like the stink face. He was <laughs> not a fan, huh? <laughs> a yeah, if stinky. it was a fin- if it was a finisher's list, then eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Rikishi. Um, yeah, that's all I pretty much know about him. Uh, every time I play him the games, that's all you want to do, especially when you're like a young kid. You think that's the funniest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I was looking at pictures of him. He was, he looked pretty skinny in the beginning. He just gained a lot of weight, it looked like. Yeah, he, um, I remember he was, uh, Fatu. Mm. I remember oh, him, yeah. like, that's how I remember him most. Like, I think his other, his other names here are Prince Alofa, Tonga Kid, Fatu, the Sultan, um, J.R. Smooth, hmm. and Junior Fatu. <laughs> <laughs> But I I only remem- remembered him like as Fatu from before, 
but Rikishi is like how I remember that stink face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. It, that was like yeah, one of the best. Also, every time you see the the guy he's sitting on, they're like, no, 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 no. They do a big old face, face and they open their mouth like <laughs> say no. <laughs> Why you do that? Like how you gonna let how you gonna let somebody fucking for years and years just sit on your face? Yeah. You know it's coming. <laughs> Just move. I wonder how many people you gave a uh, pink guy. <laughs> <laughs> they were out the next week. <laughs> um, Did you have another move where you just sat on them, like when they're on the floor? Um, I, he would do that as like a side move kind oh, of thing. Yeah. Like it was part of his repertoire. His thing. That's yeah. his thing. He just sits on people. <laughs> yeah, he he would, but he was athletic as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like he would do like this. Uh, was the Samoan bomb his fucking finisher? Oh, I. Was that where he would like? He's just like not sits on him again, but <laughs> like right or like he. Uh, oh, it says yoke. bonsai drop. Bonsai drop. Oh. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I think. Iron, but you know what I mean? Like he puts his like. He um. Head, like like sits down like or he just like you know no i think he does like a like a kind of like a like a press slam but he ends up in like a little split and the guy is like in front of him also oh yeah, yeah yeah you know what i mean i think it's more like that i don't know it was a it, it's it's a good finisher though yeah oh yeah it was a, it was a sick finish and then he would do the super kick also Oh yeah, he did a super kick. He yeah, was, dude, he was pretty athletic. Yeah, yeah he mean, was he super was like, athletic. He's the, I think he's the Usos' dad, or, or the new wrestler. Or, yeah, or like the, the uncle wrestler. or something. He's like related yeah, to related. Roman Reigns, part of the Anoyi family. Anoyi, I don't know. I'm butchering that, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking, he they'd come out with. Uh, with Scotty Too Hotty, Grandmaster Sexay. Fucking were they, they were cool? Yeah, they were all too cool. And fucking they would do that. <laughs> fucking <When> they, <laughs> they start dancing. They just it's really just going to the side. <laughs> like stepping to the side a little bit. <laughs> like one to the right. <laughs> yeah, one to the left and then to the right. And then like that's pretty much and then they go like up they and just down. Incorporate your hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> But yeah, fucking, that was always cool also. I remember he uh, eliminated them from the Royal Rumble one time. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. He was, he, he meant business, all right? <laughs> but yeah. If any one of those two win, I mean, it was going to be him, so. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. They danced before, too, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, they danced before. Like, they danced before, and then that's when he betrayed them. Mm. He betrayed them. Wow. Why? Because he wanted to win the Royal Rumble, dude. <laughs> Duh. Why? But yeah, that was well. Nine that was eight. nine and eight right nine there. Eight. What, nine, Michael's eight. What's your number eight, Jeffrey? <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been. I, <laughs> we can cut that I'll out. Go, I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll be. I'll go to my eight. <laughs> no, go for it. Ivan. All right. Well, my number eight is actually. Uh, well, I guess I sh- should have said it earlier, but it's going back to what was Kurt Angle was your nine. Yeah. Yeah, Kurt Angle is my eight. Nice. So What yeah, was I your mean, favorite thing about fucking Kurt Angle? I mean, he was like how you said how he caught on so early, but and early it was it was pretty much as a heel, right? Like as a like everybody just hated like you hated him or you like you know, he was just annoying. Like, yeah, so yeah, that's what it me. was. I mean, and they, that's why, like, at first, the you suck, you know, like, he was always all pissed. And that's why, like, everybody loves saying it. But obviously, later on, like, once you started to, you know, like, once his character turned into, like, a more likable guy or whatever, it was, like, a, it was cool, you know, like, you suck. Like, everyone did it not, like, towards him. It was just, like. Yeah, to show their appreciation. On. Yeah, it, was just, it just caught on. But. My favorite moment, well, one of the best moments, is when he comes out with the milk truck. Oh yeah, uh, Stone Cold with the beer truck, but he comes out with the milk truck and he just fucking 
and loads of milk on the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and all that. I, I, I think it's think Stone Cold there. If not, it's The Rock, but I'm pretty sure it's Stone Cold because Stone Cold did it to The Rock. Yeah. yeah. So I think it was doing it to Stone Cold. Yeah, I think he was doing it to Stone Cold. And because yeah. uh, Kurt Angle's like, drink was always milk. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, because he's an Olympic athlete. Yeah, so like the Olympic uh, drink is fucking milk. (laughs) (laughs) And he had to drink. So instead of chugging uh, beers like Stone Cold Steve Austin, he would like go in the ring and chug milk. (laughs) Like milk. uh, Remember? Wasn't it like milk cartons or glasses and shit? Yeah, Yeah, fucking glasses. But yeah, he. Yeah, he had like a good. Like I said, early on, it was more like annoying, but. Once you got to appreciate him, like, as a wrestler, and like I said, his character obviously changed too, but is his moves and everything, like I said, he also fought with the top other wrestlers and held his own one championship, so definitely made my list. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm watching the video right now. He's literally (laughs) chugging milk into the (laughs) ring. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Fucking, uh... That, those are good times. Like Kurt Angle. Uh, you're number eight, right, Ivan? Yes. Uh, what's your number eight, Jeffrey? Uh, my number eight, Vince McMahon. Oh, he did not make my list. What? He didn't I make my really list. I was really tempted to make wine, too. What? Vince McMahon had the best faces, dude. <laughs> Every time he got angry or whatever, he just like looked shocked all the time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, at, when, he would, uh, when he got uh, shocked... By Stone Cold Steve Austin mm-hmm. with the uh, defibrillator. Oh, that happened. Do you remember? Yeah, I don't remember that you one. Now I gotta look that up. <laughs> yeah, hospital dude. scene, legendary. Yeah, he's in the is in a hospital bed because his like leg is broken or something, or is, is it his leg broken or his yeah. ass is like broken or something? I think, you know, he, I think he has some, uh, like a cast on his leg, but I think his his arm might also be. I don't know what happened to him. He was fucked up. Man. Yeah, he was like all fucked up. And so, uh, mankind comes and like tries to make him like feel like happy or whatever, and then uh, he's like, "Oh, nurse, can you help me out?" And the nurse ended up being still cold. <laughs> <laughs> and I do he, remember that one. <laughs> and then he goes and like he hits him with the fucking bedpan, <laughs> and then he shocks him with the defibrillator, yeah. and he's like, "Ah, <laughs> that was a good." One. <laughs> What's your favorite Vince McMahon moment, uh, Ivan? Uh, he has so many. Yeah, dude. Like, uh, when he would, like, freaking, oh, oh, you're oh. fired. That was a train. Yeah, that was a train. Train. Mm-hmm. No, but yeah. But... <laughs> fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, like uh, Jeffrey says, like, and he would be, his his walk, too, his walk is so memorable. Oh, he hell yeah, so dude. He, I, he had the best fucking strut <laughs> yeah, up yeah, that fucking, down yeah, that yeah. ramp and shit, dude. Yeah, like, he thought he was the shit he was walking around. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, uh, his opening theme song is also fucking legendary. Uh, no, no chance. chance. <laughs> <laughs> You got no chance in hell. No chance in hell. Whatever you wanted out of Vince, you had no chance. <laughs> he was like, yeah, he he barely missed my list. Like, I kind of, I, I didn't think about him until like kind of after. And then I was like, wait. No, yeah, And he would, because he would actually get in the ring. Like he was fighting yep. so cool. Like, obviously, like it was always all rigged and shit as hell. But hey, but like, he, would he would always get, get his ass beat. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Exactly. Like he was fucking. He was down. He had fucking people kissing his ass. Oh, the oh, kiss yeah. my ass club, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. You William Regal. <laughs> yeah, and when the Attitude Era started, is when the Vince McMahon character like actually really started. Like when, uh, yeah. when he gave him that first stunner. I think that's. Oh, yeah. I think that's when the Attitude Era like started. Started. When he gave him that stunner. But, um, yeah, dude, fucking Vince McMahon, fucking CEO, owner of the oh, company, <laughs> fucking, I am the owner of WCW <laughs> and WWF. Dude, when I saw that shit, 
Oh, bro, I was watching Nitro and I see Vince McMahon pop up on fucking Nitro. Oh, yeah. I said, "What the fuck is I going re- on, dude?" I remember switching the channels back and forth and being like, "What? Like, why I'm be able to watch it on both? Like, you know?" Yeah, yeah, dude. They were both. And I, I was like, "What's?" I was like, "What is going on?" And then he said, "Like, you bought his competition," and you're like, "What? <laughs> what?" And then you go see the the last. That was a good match too. Fucking uh, Booker T. I mean, no, sorry, Sting versus Ric Flair. Oh yeah. And then Booker T won the title for the fifth time. That five time, five time. But yeah, dude, Vince McMahon. That's a good. That's a good one. Yep. Yeah, my number eight. You just, right. I just love his faces, dude. Just, I don't know what it is. Oh, you love his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. It's so his funny. expressions. Yeah, his expressions. <laughs> <laughs> Best actor in, in uh, wrestling. No, wait. I'm sorry. It's all real. My bad. My bad. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> it's all oh, real. Yeah. Jeffrey. I'm sorry, everyone out there. My friend. He, that doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. <laughs> it's real. Um. All right. Number eight. Which number seven, Jeff? Uh, Number seven. I already mentioned Big Show. Hey, where's the big show? <laughs> hey, you heard that song? You're like, oh shit, yeah, something's yeah, gonna fucking yeah. go down. <laughs> yeah, we'll he was see just, it coming. He was just a behemoth, man. He would just choke slam, right? Just choke slam people. Yep. And then no one really stood a chance against him. But he would choke slam them all the way to the ground. Yeah. Like he'd go to the ground with them. He wouldn't just like choke slam them. He'd like take them all the way down to yeah. the ground. Well, he lifts you up so high, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he, like, hold them up there, too. Yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Like, coming over the, the top rope with his, like, he just walks over the top rope. I always oh, thought yeah, that right, was, right. like, a G thing to do that the Giants <laughs> fucking did, dude. Like, fucking yeah. just walk over the top rope. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> that's how you, that's when you consider them, like, a tar or, like, a big wrestler. Like, yeah, if like they could walk over the rope. Yeah. If they could go through all three, then. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I just wasn't a big fan of his uh his outfit. Could have could have done a little like, better. It's like caveman or yeah, yeah. I don't know what you call that. Sleep. You just need a club. <laughs> yeah. We love Paul White. <laughs> AKA the big show. You know he's in AEW right now? Oh yeah. I was like a commentator, like oh, yeah. I, I don't think he's doing like in ring stuff, but yeah, he joined AEW. I saw he has his own show, The Big Show Show. Oh, yeah, it's on Netflix, right? I don't know what it's on, but I saw it. It's on Netflix, guys. Watch on Netflix. We are not sponsored by Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> we are not sponsored by The Big Show. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Captain Insano? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Captain kid? Captain Insano shows up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, thirty-five. <laughs> we'll just start laughing. laughing. <laughs> 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 oh my god! He had, I always liked when he he would go up against like the Undertaker and Kane or one of them, like you know, because they'd always be like they try to like one of them will grab one neck and then the other one would grab the other's neck. <laughs> what was that? Oh yeah, what was that fucking story where the Big Show is like? in the back of a like a hearse or something like that like they go to his his oh they go to his dad's funeral and like somebody ends up attaching the coffin to like a hearse and the hearse drives off and big show is like no don't take my dad and he fucking jumps on the coffin while it's going <laughs> what <laughs> They had some weird, they had some crazy story, like, shit, dude. Uh, oh man, hey, but shh, there was nothing better than that shit, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Grade A television. <laughs> Definitely. Well, yeah, fucking big show. Yeah, big show. My number seven. Seven. All right. Uh, what you got at seven, Ivan? All right, my number seven. Sticking with a big wrestler, I have Kane. Oh, he made my list. He's a little higher on my list. A little higher on mine, too. Yeah, yeah Kane. Well, then I'll 
keep it brief so you guys can discuss them a little bit later. But just remembering when they first said or they started like previewing like who this guy was. I think I think he would come out like just randomly like after certain matches and first it would be like at the beginning of the shows, you know, like the I think he beat up like the what is that Mosh and Thrasher? I forgot what they were called. But like he beat them up and then later on you find out about him and the Undertaker. It's all his storyline was just from the beginning like crazy. Yeah, dude. Like what, said, one of the best um fucking in, like introductions of all time, if not the best. Yeah, like instantly you were like hooked like who the hell is this guy? <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, fucking Kane, yeah. We'll talk about him oh, yeah, exactly. a little That's later. Good. Don't you don't you worry, guys. <laughs> But at my number seven, I got Y2J, Chris oh, Jericho, shit. bro. He also had one of the best fucking intros. He had that countdown. Mm-hmm. Like, and I didn't really know who it was, but like, I had a feeling that it was Chris Jericho because he hadn't really shown up all so much on WCW at the time. And, like, you would also see, like, the hardcore, like, diehard fans. Like, there was Jericho fucking um, signs. Oh, yeah. Like, like, in, like people were anticipating it. Yeah, yeah. like, in the stands and shit. Like, what the fuck? How the fuck you guys know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he had that countdown. And finally, the the countdown to the new millennium. And he fucking shows up. And he in, uh, interrupting The Rock. Bro, Ooh. The Rock was going through his thing, and Chris Jericho interrupted it. He had this sick ass promo in the beginning, and he was the first WWF undisputed champion, and he beat Stone Cold and The Rock in one night. What? I do remember that. that he like would one of his first matches. Yeah, like that was like one of his things. He'd always bring up <laughs> his his peak. I beat fucking Stone Cold and The Rock all that one night. I'm the best. Fucking, he had that lion salt where he would. That was a beast move. That was a beast ass move. He'd uh, jump on like the second rope and do a backflip off of it, like a little springboard. That shit was sick. And he had the walls of Jericho. Bro. That's one of the best submission moves also. Oh. Fucking Walter See, Jericho. I am Tamer right back in the day in WCW. Yeah, in WCW. Because he was a Lionheart. Oh, yeah. I forgot his name. But... Yeah, I remember that shit. Because he... WCW, they had beast-ass matches with the fucking Rey Mysterio, Malenko, Perry Saturn, all those fools, Chris Benoit, everybody. Being the man of a thousand hold. <laughs> Yeah, shit. the man of a thousand old. This fool. And um Eddie Guerrero. Fucking uh, Yeah, dude. He's fucking Chris Jericho. Back in the yeah, attitude he was, era. He's one of the he was also one of the best uh like I don't know what you want to call it, like the rock like improv or whatever, you know, like Oh, like, like the he promo. Put a mic in his face, and he, knew, you know, like he'll make fun of people. He'll talk. We remember that shit when he started talking about Stephanie Mann with her fucking her job or whatever. Oh yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, well, how you've grown, little Stephanie. And like you know, just like fucking some shit like that. <laughs> with the picture on the fucking Titan trunk. Yeah. Little Stephanie, all grown up. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, fucking Chris Jericho. That's my number seven. Uh, number six, Mick Foley. Mankind, Dude Love, Cactus Jack, the car wreck in the beginning. That's, that's also my number six. Hey, oh, let's go. Did I make my list? What? <laughs> Mm-hmm. How f- this is great. Mr. Sako made it. 
<laughs> There's like four of them, Jeffrey. Not <laughs> even one. <laughs> I know not even one of the fucking. <laughs> uh, I'll let you talk about him. Uh, I've been. On... I'll let you talk about him a little more. All right. So, I mean, I don't remember. Well, at least it was uh, the first that I remember him as was Mankind, and. I mean, I didn't really like him at first because he was just like hella fucking weird, right? Like he would be, he had that weird mask that wasn't even a mask. He was just like, I don't know, you could see his whole face. <laughs> I know, and he was and, a uh, challenge for the fucking Undertaker. Yeah, exactly. And he was challenging the Undertaker just because of like how like, I guess like he just wouldn't quit, you know? So, but yeah, and then I remember him like going into like the corner of the ring and like ripping out his hair, and then he had like bald spot. Like yeah. he was just like a weird, weird character. Yeah, like but, he would he would give someone like a slam or someone like a, a like a sick move or whatever, and then he'd just be sitting down in his hair, fucking pulling his hair out and shit. Yeah, and, like just <laughs> while they're like while they're on the ground, all like yeah. could be you know winning the match. Nah, he was too busy fucking ripping out his hair. Uh, he would like get himself I, with scissors and shit too, no? Oh yeah, no, yeah, like he was. But like again, the more he went on, like his his matches with the Undertaker, are, like next level. I mean, obviously everybody knows the fucking mm-hmm. Hell in the Cell. Yeah, <laughs> again, Jeffrey, you uh, you definitely know that one, right? Yeah, the, the what? Fucking under, <laughs> Undertaker throwing fucking mankind off the fucking Hell in the Cell. Mm. Oh my god! The table. Was, it, was was into an announcer table or a table? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. That's, a, that's a. I that's mean, a you. One. At most, everybody has heard the freaking Jim Ross. Like, oh my god, he, he killed him. He <laughs> killed him. Yeah, <laughs> he's broken in half. <laughs> Bro, god. shout Bro. out Jim Ross, dude. Yeah, best no, announcer. Like, that, he, that's why he he uh, he was also a reason why the wrestling was so good. Just like. Oh yeah. He was always so like passionate about every little fucking mm-hmm. fight or any storyline. <laughs> like, God damn it, somebody stop the match. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, it's dramatic. Yeah. You know, like someone, They're someone gonna kill him. They're there. gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. But yeah. Ah, yeah, but mankind, like his legendary. But then when he after, even after that, then he got thrown through the freaking hell in the cell and then he got thrown into fucking what were they thumbtacks yeah fucking got choked slammed onto some fucking thumbtacks did you watch that live i didn't watch it live yeah i did damn that shit was crazy. i didn't get oh, yeah. uh we didn't watch a lot of of the pay-per-views i, yeah. I got like had, all, all, all of the like raw and shit but yeah now we had the little boxes or whatever <laughs> Oh, like the compilation kind of thingy, whatever that has like oh, a bunch of WrestleManias or something. Steal, oh no! Well, yeah, yeah the, I mean, like back in the day, we had the the fucking like cable boxes that I- I- illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hey, oh, whoa! Uh, what's the statute of limitations? <laughs> <laughs> three years. Three years. Three years. <laughs> three years uh, I mean. Allegedly, <laughs> I didn't pay no bills, so I didn't know where we got it. <laughs> uh, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> nah, but yeah, so we would usually, if not at our house, like then my cousins were also really into it, so we watch it over there. Mm. Not yeah, but I remember watching that on Raw and being like, "What the fuck? What happened?" And then you just see that shit, dude. One of the Probably, mm, yeah, I would say for me, uh, one of the best moments. One of the best moments, not the best, for sure. Yeah, um, okay. yeah number that six. That was all just as mankind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like his dude love shit was funny as fuck. Yeah. And then when he came out, I remember he came out on that one where he was fighting uh, Triple H, and he was. Oh. Uh, he was um, supposed to fight Mankind, but Mankind and Dude Love wanted to hang back while Cactus <laughs> Jack goes oh, out yeah. there. That shit was bang, bang, bro. Yeah, that shit was cool. That's just a whole other also. That's just Mick Foley, dude. That fool. Yeah. Great. And th- I remember that when he f- when they finally gave him like the world championship the first time ever or whatever. 
Everyone was all freaking hyped and crying. I remember that day. I remember yeah. watching it. I remember watching, uh, hearing that announcement on fucking yeah. on WCW because that's when WCW oh, yeah. was like fucking like super big. Like they were beating oh, WWF yeah. like yeah, bad. Yeah, that's true. And then I remember fucking they said, "Oh, why are you gonna go the way they watch uh, Mankind like win the WWF champion or Mick Foley or something like that?" And I said, "What?" Click. I go to the fucking. I go to the to to Raw. Yeah, dude, that that was that one of the best moments because you never thought that mankind was gonna be a WWE champion. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, how I started, like or how he started. You know, like nobody, like he just seemed like a weirdo, but the more he did, like he deserved that shit. Yeah, and that's when they started going down. Yeah. Uh, what's your number six, Jeff? My number six is based off one move and one move only. Uh, well, I guess it's a group or a person. I picked uh, X Pac or D Generation X Ooh, for uh, okay. the Suck It. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I remember, was it fourth grade? I don't know what grade it was. It was fifth grade. All the kids were on the playground just doing the Suck It move. <laughs> I was doing that yeah. shit. <laughs> just, just other kids. Suck it. I got two words for you. I remember we started getting in trouble at school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for doing that shit. They would tell us, you guys don't understand what that means. <laughs> no. We're yeah, like, yeah, man. <laughs> it means suck it. Suck it. <laughs> And then doing like the to, X or whatever. Yeah, you had to get across the arms for fucking. Yeah, real, you had we, to. It, um, does that mean something different, or is that just for degeneration X? Because no, you can do it like. A it, yeah, v. no, yeah. Usually people did it like a V to like show like you know no, it's my head. dick. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you want to see my dick? <laughs> <laughs> but they did it as an X for degeneration X, okay. and okay. they told you to suck it. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever they would do their entrances in the beginning or would, like when they would come out to the ring mm-hmm. they'd always uh do the four x's with the with the pyro mm-hmm. so it'd be like with the pops uh who did the best suck it mm, i don't know you tell me x block did the best okay. fucking okay. suck it and the best like intro to like the suck it like he would like pa 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 then he'd jump all high and then when he did the last <laughs> oh, one yeah, yeah, like all, all sick <laughs> <laughs> but yeah fucking I got a member of Degeneration X on my list okay okay yeah that was my number six who was uh who were the members of Degeneration X. Mm, you're putting them on the spot here. We mm. have uh, <laughs> well X-Pac. of the Attitude Era. Oh, now I have to even go even further here. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, X Pac is one of them. Right. He's Triple H. He's, or is that is that no? That's WWE. No, that's yes. Yeah, Triple H. You're right. He was. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Well, we have Triple H. Uh, China. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The New Age Outlaws. Mm-hmm. Who are the New Age Outlaws? I have... Road Dog and B- the you Ass Man, Billy really Good. <laughs> the New Age Outlaws, bro. Billy Gunn. Yeah, the Ass Man. He did, ass he had the Fame Master. The the Fame Master. Yeah, yeah. Was, tell me more. <laughs> finisher. <laughs> yeah, it's a finisher. Like he would like uh put his. They would be like kind of bent like hunched over and he'd come and then he like put the leg like on the top of their like the back of their neck or whatever and kind of like land on them so it'd be like putting his ass on their face <laughs> <laughs> what's up with that move rikishi does that it's, <laughs> it's degrading <laughs> <laughs> it causes no pain it's just it's just, just pain to their soul <laughs> 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 but yeah yeah, so, uh, yeah, my number six, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> suck it. <Yeah. laughs> and if you're not That's down true. with that. <laughs> All right, number six. Awesome. 
All right, we're at halftime, so let's put on some music, yeah? Yeah. We're going to listen to Five Years Later with their song, Brad Pitt. Enjoy. Check it out. Am I queer if I think Brad Pitt's hot? Yes, but I think not Appreciation of another man's mojo Like Andy Dick, I'm a flaming hetero Go! I'm tough if I joined a fight club No, I'm at home making soap in my bathtub I heard you're married to that Jennifer Aniston I like friends, but I'd rather watch the Mexican go Magazines with half the letters gone Never wrote me back, that's why I'm singing this song you Ever wanna chill, Brad, you know where to find me the Outside your window, all up in a birch tree, go! All right, welcome back, guys. That was uh, five years later. Brad Pitt. Hope you guys like that one. Yeah. Remember, guys, if you have any music you want to showcase, you want to let us play on our podcast for all of you uh, millions of listeners out there. Um, go ahead and give us a contact on our Instagram, Michael and Jeffrey's uh, dot top ten on Instagram, Michael and Jeffrey's top ten on Facebook, and Michael and Jeffrey's top ten. Sorry, Michael and Jeffrey's top 10 at gmail.com there's no apostrophe in the jeffries <laughs> in the jeffries <laughs> it's all one word michael and jeffries top 10 at gmail.com yeah we also forgot to mention uh if you want to be a guest ivan's our first uh online guest oh yeah so if, wherever you are we can put you on the podcast and uh have a talk with you yeah we want to keep on having guests on so uh let us know want to have you on have a little chat, have a little top 10, whatever you want. Mm-hmm. All right. So we'll let Ivan start with his number five. All right. <clears throat> so number five for me, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Mm. Mm. You know, I didn't have him on my list because I didn't feel like he was an Attitude Era wrestler. Am I wrong? I mean, he's pretty much... He, I mean, he was a little before, but then he was still pretty in there. Yeah, and that whole thing with Mike Tyson because, also. Yeah, and then the whole... I mean, like, DX was pretty much at the prime kind of... Or around Attitude Era, I felt like. But, yeah, that's why he's on my list. Wikipedia considers him Attitude Era. Oh, really? So we'll, we'll take it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> Most reliable yeah, but... source out there. <laughs> 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 yeah, he was, 
I mean, yeah, he was a little before time. But even then, I, I, I honestly don't really remember much bef- before um, the, what is it? Where, what, what, the uh, Montreal I mean, screw city, job. Yeah, Montreal screw job or whatever. I didn't really remember. And even at that, when that happened, I didn't even know that, you know, aside from the beef after or whatever, when he like spit on Vince or whatever. Yeah, but I didn't really know. Yeah, I didn't really know much about about him like there. But he was always but he became or he I guess he he already was one of the top wrestlers. Oh yeah. And he was like but he, he was the man. Yeah. No, yeah, but again another amazing intro of his his song Sexy Boy. Eh, or I don't even know. If that's I'm a just thing, a but. sexy boy. <laughs> I'm just a boy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, yeah. sorry. Oh no, here you go. Uh, when I was younger, I would put on um a pair of jeans, and the legs would come over my shoulders, and like the backs would come like it would be on top, kind of like a cape, and I would yeah. pretend that I was Shawn Michaels like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because he had like a little or, outfit like that. Yeah. <laughs> vest or whatever yeah. he used to so have. i would have jeans on like walking around thinking i was or like jeans on my shoulders <laughs> yeah. thinking i was sean michael <laughs> oh yeah but he was also a badass he was he his the sweet chin music oh. another like amazing great finisher yeah just fucking stomp the shit out of that ring before he gives that sweet yeah. chin music yeah uh he uh, he was also I mean not like super high flyer but he would do some things off the top rope and he he also sold a lot of like the hits and stuff that he would take too yeah like he would he would fall and act like he got hit like with stunners and shit like that he'd be doing flips like everybody else but and then DX of course just him and fucking I mean all of them but him and Triple H really like led the charge. Fucking, just all the dumb shit and crazy shit they would do. Yeah. But yeah, that's my number five, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, the legend. The legend. Uh, Jeffrey, what's your number five? Uh, my number five is Triple H. That is also my number five. What? <laughs> no. Right. I'll keep it. <clears throat> well, did it make your list, Ivan? Yeah, actually, it's my number four. All right. <laughs> there you Bang go. Bang them all out yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, Triple H. Um, I like him. I like the pedigree, even though it feels like he didn't do much. Nah, the pedigree, like, the whole thing was him, like, crossing their arms behind their yeah. back. You know what I mean? Really like, slow. Boom, yeah. Boom. And then it just goes straight to the mat. Like, yeah. That was a devastating move, for sure. Um. Yeah, I love the pedigree. And then... The whole uh, Stephanie McMahon thing. I don't know. Would you guys consider her the hottest in the, the era? Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 oh. no, no, no. All right, let me hear yours. Oh, no. Come who's on, your, bro. Who's you your got, number one? You got... China? You got... <laughs> no, R.I.P. <laughs> um, we got uh, Tori Wilson, and then we got Sable, mm. like, right there. And then he had Lisa. Lita... No Terry Wilson. No, that was. Uh no, uh Terry was just Terry, but oh, it was yeah. uh Tori Wilson. She, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to me, no, she was her. the best, for sure, better than Trish Stratus and Lita. Trish. Mm. I think Trish was probably the, at least back then that was like the top. But... Hey, but that was when the women's division was like, oh yeah, going after it too, fucking. Yeah, but... Lita and uh, Trish Stratus main evented a WWF Raw and shit. No, oh, yeah, because Lita was she was she was pretty much well because she came out with the Hardy Boys, right? So she was like the female Hardy Boy or the wrestler that would do like most of their moves and. Yeah, she so had that like, moonsault and shit. Yeah, so she was more like pushing the limits than most or before. But yeah, fucking. We'll get back to Triple H. Different top ten list. <laughs> I guess these are all the males. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we will have another list. Don't you worry. 
But um, yeah, Triple H. Uh, he did the, the he had the spit intro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also very memorable. Yeah. Very, very memorable. Like we all tried to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he so. did it like he like sprayed like he did it like the best. Yeah, it would it was like turn into mist. Oh yeah. How do you do that? I don't know. Because he, he would do the spit up and then he would like blow still again and there was still some left over. Oh mm. yeah. <laughs> like he would yeah. blow it up in the air and then like he he'd come back down and do it again. I wonder yeah, if the like, you just do a quick little blow or whatever. I wonder if the people in the audience <laughs> <laughs> splash them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Best seat in the house. <laughs> he said he had like a sledgehammer error. <laughs> oh yeah, that was like his weapon of choice, the fucking yeah. sledgehammer. He'd also the do assassin. Yeah, oh. dude. Triple H was fucking badass. I remember he he tore like his quad also. So oh, like, yeah, that's when he had, like, he always had that big-ass fucking brace on it. Yeah. And after. he, like, came back, but he was a heel, like, a, he was mostly a yeah. heel, um, other than, like, the DX era or whatever. But, yeah, exactly. dude, that guy, like, I remember he came back and uh, he fought with, like, Kurt Angle or something like that on his debut, but, like. Everybody thought that they were, he was going to get booed and shit, but he came back and just the crowd just... Yeah. yeah. I remember fucking... I was, like, st- super excited. But then, like, the next week, he turned back into a heel. <laughs> yeah, immediately. Yeah, like, oh. yeah, you're like, oh, fuck. All right, this fucker's back. <laughs> <laughs> but he won the Royal Rumble that year, too. I think he won the championship that year. Yeah. Came back. Uh, But, yeah, what... Fucking pedigree. Yeah. I mean, do you guys consider him, like, the bad guy of, of like, that era? I feel like there's a bad, like, a bad guy. I would say yes. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. For yeah, sure. Yeah, he was, like, the, the, like, the most, or he was a heel, like, almost all the time, you know? like Yeah, of, like, that era. Other, others would kind of go, like, flip-flop, you know? Like, sometimes you'd hate him, sometimes you'd like him. Yeah, but Triple H, the cerebral a, assassin, a, a, the fucking game. <laughs> I am yeah, the game. game. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Hunter Hearst Helms. <laughs> I remember before he was the, uh, uh, what do they call him? The, like the pedigree was named the pedigree because like, wasn't it because yeah. he was like fancy and shit? Yeah. I don't know what it's. Yeah. He was like a, an upscale, like, uh, I forget what, I forget what they would like call him. He was like a gentleman. Or something. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. But I know that it wasn't like the gentleman. Or... Yeah, and but he was like super like like sleazy and like mm. he would just oh, it was funny. He was funny as Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Then we came Triple H, the game, and one of the best all time. Like no matter what, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, that was my number five, and that was. My number five and Ivan's number four. So I guess I'll just go to my number four. <laughs> so my number four and three, they're probably not going to be very popular opinions. But I mean, they're popular opinions, but like in the order that I have them. Uh oh. At number four, I got to bring, you got to bring this one down. All right. My number four. Okay. The fucking The Undertaker. Okay. My, For sure. My number three. My your number three? three? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So um, number three. Also your number three? Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. I think these are all going to get jumbled up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So The Undertaker, The Phenom. The dead man. He was the American badass. But in the Attitude Era, there was a few people like that. Our top two, I'm sure, are all gonna be the same. Mm-hmm. At least like yeah. jumbled up or whatever. <laughs> but fucking the Undertaker was just there, and he was always the dead man. He was always the phenom. Nobody wanted to fuck with them, and 
just the Undertaker, man. He had Paul Bearer right there with them, with the, um, <laughs> with the urn. Yeah. Oh, it's the urn. It's giving him power. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Well. <laughs> He's gonna get you. <laughs> He's gonna tear you apart. <laughs> and figure always, or he he also had a bunch of like good storylines, or you know. Yeah, the, for sure. Him and Kane arc, obviously, like that shit was. I think that's like ridiculous. the best, like story. In all of like the WWE, yeah. like ever, I think that's like the best story because I remember they were like leading up to that shit like a lot, like or like you would just hear about Kane and Paul Bear talk about Kane and Kane. And you were like nobody knew what he looked like or anything, and then but the Undertaker wasn't supposed to be scared of anybody. And when he would say Kane, he'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> What was your favorite uh, thing about The Undertaker, Jeffrey? Uh, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong. Did he do? Uh, did he roll up in the motorcycle during that era? Or was that later? That's like towards the end okay. of that era. But okay. I think it's part of it. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. American Badass. The American Badass. Dude, hell yeah. He'd roll up in his fucking chopper. Yeah. And fucking... <laughs> fucking... That shit was sick. And he'd ride around the ring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who did that? Did anybody else do that before? Not that I know of, no. I think they did it after him. Yeah. yeah. But not before that shit. I wonder how dangerous that shit was, just driving around the <laughs> fucking ring. <laughs> I wonder how many, like, and all those house shows and shit, if anybody, like, accidentally got hit <laughs> by that fucking motorcycle. But who cares? I'd want to get hit by that fucking motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> the Undertaker hit me with his motorcycle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again. What's his move? That's like a casket. Uh, The tombstone, the bro. The tombstone. I can't why I forget that. He had that one of the, had to hurt. He had one of the best fucking move sets also. Yeah. Yeah. When he would fly over the rope, when he would jump like. Oh, he, yeah. Outside. Of the like ring? he would jump outside of the ring and like he would clear the top, mm. the top rope and shit. That shit was badass. Yeah, he flip over it. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He or front flipped. He, he would walk on the rope. Yeah. Too, oh, shit. oh yeah, old school. He would he yeah. would uh, grab their arm, walk on the rope, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> fucking jump off. And then elbow drop him. Yeah. <laughs> Punch their shoulder. <laughs> yeah, he had the fucking the sidewalk slam. He had um. Oh yeah. The choke slam, of course. Choke slam. Mm-hmm. The famous or infamous choke slam. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah just. The Undertaker. Yeah, that's what I would do. Choke slam through uh, Hell in the Cell through the middle. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's what you <laughs> the <do>. video game. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are the whole reason you can do that in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> the, the freaking Ministry of Darkness. Oh also yeah. The beast like storyline with him or whatever. Yeah, fucking uh, Gangrel and Viscera. Um, they had Midian and the yeah. Acolytes, Farouk and Bradshaw, mm-hmm. the Ministry, and Kane. I think the Big yeah. Show was part of it at one point. Well, it's because they they start they combined. Remember? Cause oh, the, the corporate ministry. <laughs> the yeah. corporate ministry. Yeah, yeah, they were like with Triple H and the McMahon <laughs> yeah, and shit. And sh- what was what was those fools? The 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 Green Street. What, what are they? Oh wait, are you talking about the goons? Yeah, but like Shane McMahon's like because they were from the same like street now or something. Oh, Remember I think it was like a Mean Street like gang or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the like, <laughs> they had like their, their their jerseys like Shane or something. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. Like they were just random fools. Yeah. Yeah, fucking yeah. the Undertaker number four. You guys number threes. Yeah. Anything else about the Undertaker? Hmm. He was a scary dude. He was a scary dude. It, oh, he would do the eye roll. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole reason you learned how to do an eye roll, bro. <laughs> oh, and the, the classic, like getting back up. Oh yeah, you know, they like, do their finisher on him or whatever. He's mm-hmm. just laying there and whoop, no hands. Yeah, oh, really? and <laughs> yeah. just sits up. 
You never saw that? I don't remember that. Yeah, I dude. Don't. Like, mean, like it, that's one of his memes. Uh, <laughs> there's the memes all the time. Yeah, oh, shit, I gotta, gotta, like I gotta, coming, <laughs> waking up from the dead. Just <laughs> yeah, and like he'll wake up and then like he'll turn towards the person and he'll like have like this mean look and mm. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, fucking the Undertaker, one of the best all time, if not yeah. the best of all time. His Definitely WrestleMania career. Mm-hmm. That streak. He had that streak for a long time. Honestly, Brock Lesnar was the only one that could beat that streak. I Who mean, else? I guess, but I guess Roman Reigns could have done it, but like Brock Lesnar. I, mean, I guess eventually, he he should have just stopped. You know. Like yeah, he should. They, they should have just, just. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, towards the end, it's like you can't just let him. You know, like he was already all hello old. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of disappointing. A little yeah, bit. but still, I mean, he still he was still trying to put you know he still had some good matches at the age that he was. Uh, oh yeah, that that match with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. Oh, they, yeah. Where they had like the I'm sorry no or something. Like that. Yeah, like the back to back, but oh, the no. second one was when it was like light versus darkness or whatever. Oh yeah, was, this was already like ten years later after the Attitude Era. And shit. Yeah, yeah, but, but still, that yeah. match was ridiculous for sure it was great but yeah fucking the undertaker the undertaker so my number three then well we have our number four didn't you say he was oh, our yeah. number three. Oh, that was your number three so or what's I your said, number i said my four already though what's your number four jeffrey my number four is kane that is my number three. Oh, we flip-flopped him yeah uh yeah of course kane he was a. Uh, you know what? I don't ever remember seeing his actual face. Did they show it? Oh, yeah. How do you look? <laughs> Does he look like The Undertaker? Honestly, kind of. <laughs> it's the same hair. That's for sure. Not I mean, when they first pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, when they first pulled it, when they first pulled off the mask, he it pretended like it was a wig. Mm, okay. But I think for most of it, it was his hair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Like when they revealed him, they just like, fucked him up or whatever like he i think he, yeah they made it look like he was pretty much still burned but like literally like with like tar marks <laughs> like if he would yeah. never like rinse his face yeah. <laughs> yeah. i gotta look now <laughs> that's true <laughs> yeah like he was so dumb like yeah. it wasn't even like a burnt face it was like like it just had happened like yeah. two minutes ago or something but like I, the whole thing was like after is there was nothing really wrong with him. He was just crazy. Mm. Kind of thing, you know? Real brother, though? No. Real brother? No. Well, yes. His real brother. He was Undertaker's real brother. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, supposedly, I think, uh, like, he, he, they thought he had died in a fire, like, the Undertaker, like, basically, like, left him. I mean, obviously, like, that's, Undertaker would say that's not what happened. But yeah, like, that the Undertaker that was, like, caused the, story, the fire. Like, Mm. Yeah, and like since he was little, like they just left him. Or yeah, they didn't care about him. Mm-hmm. He lives, Undertaker. <laughs> he yeah. lives, or you Undertaker. Just like a, like an, you should be your numbers <laughs> four and five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking shout out Paul Bear, dude. Rest in peace, fucking number one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, number one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, in front of Jim Ross, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I dude. I did like his. Uh, he had his own choke slam, yeah. Yeah. Like he but he, did he hold him up longer, like a longer choke, and then slam him. He held him up longer, but he didn't go to the ground with right. him. He right. He just like just dropped him. Dropped him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's why. I, that's why I liked him a little bit more. Yeah, and also I liked him more because you saw more of him. The Undertaker was kind of like a, you would see him every so often. Mm. But like when he came back, it was like huge. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But Kane, after like the whole Undertaker arc or whatever, he stayed. He like he was like a constant. Yeah, that's true. You know? Well, that's so, when, like, I think actually when he was pulling, when they finally like were unveiling him, I don't, was it, he was close with both X-Pac and RVD, but I can't remember which one was, who, who he was with. Oh, it was RVD. It was. Yeah, right? Yeah. And then he Big takes fight. off the mask and he fucking... Yeah. He ended up choke slamming him. 
after. Yeah, because yeah, because I think uh, X Pac was the first one. Because I think they won the tag team champion too. No, X Pac I mean, and uh, Kane. Yeah. 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 So like he had got close, but like again, they were always selling it like he didn't like he was all socially awkward because he fucking. And then he ended up beating. Yeah, he ended up beating fucking like, Xbox ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would always at the end somehow like just be like, "No, fuck you." And... Yeah, dude. I, I don't think this was part. No, this was like in Ruth's aggression. But remember, he yeah, he, he like married uh, Lita or something. Oh yeah. Like he was trying to marry uh, Lita shit, and fucking uh, um. Who say like Matt Hardy came to save her or something or Edge came to save her? Yeah, something, I think it was something. Matt Hardy, but then like then she left that fool for Edge. Or yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good story too. Like, yeah, Edge in that ruthless aggression era, he's fucking in that era. He was the best heel. Excuse me. Oh Jesus, probably, Sorry. yeah. No, yeah, dip, like for sure, radar superstar. And he only didn't make my list because in Attitude Era, I mean, I got him in the tag team. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, how exactly. that's how we knew him um but yeah kane was always there and like i remember being little and kind of like man we never see the undertaker mm-hmm. but we always saw kane and kane always had a sick ass move set he'd jump off the top rope oh he's gonna show you that a machine can't fly <laughs> the big <laughs> yeah. red machine yeah uh, the big red machine <laughs> Remember he had that promo with The Rock in Austin where he was like their tag team champion. I mean, their tag team partners. Or no, it was The Rock and Hogan. And he did like uh, like imitations of them and shit with the mask no, on I and shit. So, so like yeah. that shit was sick. But yeah, he did the whole thing where he rose his arms and he put them down in the... Oh, the mm. four corners with light on fire. Yeah. 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 Hmm. And then the intro too, huh? Or like that's how it would come out. Oh yeah, that's how it would come out. That was a sick intro song too. Yeah. And then it would be all red. You know, it would be all red. Yeah. You just hear and the the fire. And the inferno matches with the Undertaker, those are like the best. Of yeah. The best matches. What's an inferno match? <gasps> Please tell me. Oh, Please tell me. I'm interested. An inferno match is when the all sides of the ring all the edges of the ring or whatever um is like outlined with fire and they're in the middle mm-hmm. and whenever like they do a slam or a hit or something like the fire like fucking whoosh, okay you know uh-huh. what i mean and that's they it? were in the middle of that shit what do you mean that's it normal, that shit's fucking like nuts normal, normal match though. no and the no and the match ends when one of them you... uh, yeah when you either light your opponent on fire or leave the ring, or just no, it's, you have to you have to light, light your opponent light on him. fire. <laughs> 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 or like so, did they catch fire? Yeah, dude, crazy shit. But it, I mean, it was pretty much just a Kane and Undertaker thing. For the yeah, and then they part. they started like, like a, yeah, that was like the first like area. Was that like the first casket match too around that time? Or no, they had casket I, matches. That's true. I think Shawn Michaels got done, hurt. Yeah, I think they had done it, but. But yeah, but I remember the pyro. And then I remember when it was like one of the first times that he was fighting Kane. And I don't even remember if he won. But he would literally, he, like he was doing like tombstone after tombstone after tombstone. And Kane like didn't even flinch. Like he would kick you out like immediately. And it was like, what? Yeah, he, like, he would just get up like, boom. human, you know? Like this was <laughs> ridiculous. Like, and I remember when it, in their matches, they would like, I remember one would do like a slam. And then he would get up, and then he would do the slam to the like to Kane, yeah. and then Kane would get up, and then they would like, <laughs> like just keep going back and forth, just boom, boom, and you're like, fuck, when is this shit gonna fucking end? Like, yeah. you didn't want it to end, but you're like, damn, exactly. like who's gonna who's gonna lose <laughs> between these two? And then Kane and the Undertaker, the brothers of destruction, yeah, and they joined forces, and they fucking creamed everybody, everybody, everybody. Yeah. Uh, they in their documentary they were like, honestly, like we wanted to do it like more, but there was just no one else to beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they literally like they ran through the fucking whole like division. Pretty ran quickly, through them. It was just over. Like, 
the only way that like they could do it is if they somehow combine other superstars, but that was just too hard, you know. Like yeah. you couldn't have their normal storylines and their tag team lines. Best uh Kane, like for sure, original Kane. Like the costume and like the oh. Kane character. Dude, though he had that fucking like on one you could see like his arm or whatever is the Oh, fat yeah. fucking bicep dude fucking this fool was huge huge bigger yeah. than the undertaker dude like then there was no one oh, bigger yeah. than the undertaker exactly yeah and that mask was sick as fuck too mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know that was a uh bdsm mask like the, the original purpose of that mask yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't they didn't have anyone that knew how to make something like that so they had to call like them up <laughs> and just <laughs> oh, sick and do it like that um but yeah fucking kane mm-hmm. my number three you guys is number three four four uh, oh yeah but you guys number three was the undertaker right yeah yeah the undertaker. Oh, yeah. all right kane and the undertaker and number one and number two they're all the same but curious where we have them who do you have at two ivan Number two, you jabroni, oh. <laughs> a rock. <laughs> you have him at two, Jeff. I have, yeah. at, I have him at one. I have him at one also. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> and of course, so we have the rock. The rock. <laughs> <laughs> the only two I could find. <laughs> and then at at number two, Jeffrey and I have. And uh, Ivan has this person at number one. (laughs) Fucking these two guys. It was the Attitude Era. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You wanted to see these guys headline three WrestleManias. Fucking they headline two in a row. Headline. Like that shit don't happen. Yeah. And just the Rock and Austin best rivalry ever, I mm-hmm. think. Mm-hmm. It For, really is. It was two. They're just so good. Yeah, like two the two top guys being tops at like the same time. Stone yeah. Cold, uh, the Rock was more of a heel, so Stone Cold was usually champion, and that's what I give to like Stone Cold. But like the Rock, as a heel, fucking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That fool would talk so much shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> funny ass shit, dude. Yeah. His yeah, his his like that's why I'm saying like I mentioned Chris Jericho early as like the I call it like improv, but I don't know what you want to call it. But like the I mean obviously the Rock was just the best, and like he nobody the, really compared. Yeah, he was the best on the mic for sure, mm-hmm. dude. Like Stone Cold was great. Also, they were one and two. But, oh yeah, I mean it, it's it's like night and day too, you know. Yeah. Cause Sonko was like all business, ready to talk shit. Like, yeah. This, but the Rock was like, "Do you like pie?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your name? <laughs> it doesn't matter what your name. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> like he had all those catchphrases. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Fucking, he had the the eyebrow. Oh, people. The yeah. people's yeah. eyebrow. Yeah. Fucking eyebrow. the whole reason you learn how to do that. Fucking The Rock, yeah, only on the right side, baby. Practicing, practicing in the mirror, and yeah. <laughs> fucking, fucking squinting all crazy, trying to get that yeah, right. I'd rather go up. up. <laughs> I got it right here. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I could finally do it. I was so happy. <laughs> I, I was like, finally, finally. <laughs> the Rock. Oh no, wait. Finally, The Rock. Nah, both of them no. <laughs> the <rest laughs> has come back. To El Centro. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, man. But why do you have uh, The Rock at Rock number two? I mean, it was pretty much a coin flip. Like, mm-hmm. they're mm-hmm. both like legendary. It's not like I'm shocked that you guys having The Rock ahead of Stone Cold. But yeah. It was just, I mean, this. This uh, just again like his feuds with everybody like he went from like being with Vince McMahon's like 
number one guy, you know, to talking shit to him too, you know. <laughs> yeah, fucking giving him the stunner. Flipping, yeah. He would have flipped off the crowd. Like, you'd be like, yeah. oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Austin the, 316. Yeah, the beer, the, the beer truck on when he was getting hit with the, with the beer. Uh, he's so funny, like how he falls. How, you know, like he always sold everything. Yeah. Like, Maybe to an extreme, but it was like just so funny and like perfect because you know, like, bro, that's what, what you wanted to see, you didn't want to see nobody just fall and shit. Like, no, yeah, and like when The Rock would, like, he always had that thing where he would fall back on the, on like the the mats outside. Oh yeah, you know what I mean, or like on cement, or like like someone would yeah, hit like him. he'd smack it or something. yeah, and like he'd smack it, like loud it hard, and, shit. Yeah. and like you would think like you. I mean, like, oh, his yeah, head, yeah, like, his his head, like, his, that had him hurt. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, how did it not? Like, oh how, yeah, because he was like, and he would do that shit day in and day out, and fucking that same. I remember, like, out of all the moves and shit, you know what I mean? That's something that stood out a lot. Like, he knew how to take like punishment and shit, and he would sell also like super good. And then like he he uh, received the best stunner. Yeah, Ever. always the number one <laughs> taker taker of the stunner. Yeah. <laughs> he would fucking like do like a little like yeah, roll yeah, over yeah, on the yeah. floor. <laughs> yeah, he flip into the ropes yeah, and shit, and, and he bounce, bounce off, off the ropes <laughs> into the fucking floor. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> and the people's elbow. Like, yeah, oh, people's elbows legendary. Yeah, the rock dude. bottom legendary. Rock bottom. legendary. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. <laughs> rock bottom. <laughs> rock bottom. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> and the people's elbow when he used to take the elbow pad off. That shit yeah. was next Yeah, dude. Whoever, hey, whoever got the those, that elbow pad, yeah. dude. Jeez. <laughs> I remember when they first put that into the video games. That shit was legendary. I know that's that's <laughs> he would he, he would actually take it off. You were like, oh, what the fuck? It's low. <laughs> and then he and then he tried to he tried to if you try to do it a second time, he'd reach for it and be like, what the fuck? And then he'd go to the other one. Oh like, yeah. <laughs> and then throw that one. Dude, like, fucking yeah, yeah. Also, same thing. Like, like. They're one and two. Like it sucks having to put one over the other. Yeah, like I, I feel like, like cool. they kind of come as like a fucking package deal because they're just they were the top guys. Mm-hmm. Like they slowly climbed up the rank. They're inter they're intercontinental. Like when Rock was part of uh, the Nation of Domination, and uh, Rocky what? Malvea or something. Oh, Rocky like Malvea. Um, yeah. When uh, they had that like little run, that was a badass like rivalry already then. So we got to see it like from the beginning, and then like we got those WrestleManias for sure. Yeah, like the Rock and Stone Cold at WrestleMania, those matches, the crowd like you never hear the crowd like that anymore. No, oh, yeah, like every every like headline they had would. Like- against like any of the other top ones too there was always like you knew it was gonna be a war it was gonna be a you you even had to guess like maybe somebody was gonna come out and try to help someone because it's like the stakes were always hella high yeah and like those matches were also like super fast paced like there was a lot going on in those matches um and they'd go through the crowd i used to love like watching them go through the crowd and shit and always wondering like how the fuck do they do that <laughs> and not get stopped like right there like and then like you would see the security and then it'd be like how does the security know <laughs> where they're going <laughs> it just happens to be there already <laughs> i'll push the yeah. the people to the side and shit. <laughs> but yeah those like the and well i mean yeah stone cold steve austin fucking one of the best <clears throat> yeah, like a, I don't know what what match it was, but you always see uh, Stone Cold like going in the ring. He'll just stun a bunch of people and just talk shit to them all the time. Oh yeah, while they're on the ground. And then like he'd give them a beer. <laughs> yeah. And then like they'd, he'd yeah. be like drinking with them, and then he'd stun them. <laughs> and then he'd stun them. Yeah, like, and then he'd get more beers from the cooler. He would just like like wave <laughs> yeah, the yeah, beers yeah, over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had like an unlimited supply down there. <laughs> Literally. 
<laughs> Shout out to the guy who was throwing it to him because he was hey, always for real. He was always on point. <laughs> yeah, and hey, and Steve Austin usually caught them too. Yeah, <laughs> he was at like a ninety percent like percentage. That's pretty good. It. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, man, fucking. What else can you say about these two? Mm. Yeah, fucking. I mean, Stone Cold Stunner, one of the best finishers. Yeah. Fucking rock bottom, people's elbow, one of the best finishers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Stone Cold was so like, I mean, he was hurt a lot. You know, he got he kind of got hurt a lot. He didn't yeah. have like a crazy move set either. Mm. Like no, I don't remember I mean, a lot of his just, moves. Like it was pretty much just fucking you up. Like, yeah, he suck. would. The only thing you know is like he'd he'd like be like he'd fuck just, you like, up. Fucking, <laughs> like, yeah, just mad punches in a row. Stomps. Or then like yeah. he had that one where sometimes he'd go like he'd. Like not run off the ropes, but bounce off the ropes, and then like oh, and then jump on jump him. on you, yeah, yeah, and then start. But again, it's just pounding after that, <laughs> yeah, and just and then bound, flipping you off in the middle, or like <laughs> yeah. for the or last just yelling in your face and <laughs> yeah. shit. <laughs> oh yeah, he did have it. that little like knee, like the knee drop kind of. Oh yeah, where he would do, uh, or when he would come off the rope. And he would be like flipping yeah. them off and then like hit him on the ground and shit. Oh, yeah. We're just kicking them into the <laughs> dirt pretty much. <laughs> but yeah. No, and he, that's why, too, with him, because he was like, not he always came out, but he was one like if he came out when it wasn't his match, like everybody went crunk. Yeah. And didn't care. Didn't care what he was there to do. Like he'd fuck up everybody and anybody. They would get like the biggest pops, especially in yeah, that, exactly. especially in that time. Like, if if the rock was over there talking shit and you hear yeah. you're like oh yeah. fuck and then yeah. if Steve Austin is in the ring and like you hear him talking shit about the rock and you just hear yeah. smell what the rock is cooking and you're like, oh yeah. shit <laughs> <laughs> like those are like the two like the yeah. best and Stone, Stone Cold I know he did, like he didn't have like I mean when he would talk it was pretty much just talking about ass kicking like opened up a can of whoop ass yeah. <laughs> We're fucking what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Just stop saying so what? Then, what? Dude. <laughs> and then, like, yeah, dude, yeah. fucking, and yeah, The Rock. I I remember watching their last match also, um, where The Rock finally beat Stone Cold after three WrestleManias. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and that was a great match also. Fucking The Rock put on. Uh, Stone Cold's vest, and he did, oh, yeah. and he stunned him, or no, and he he got oh, stunned in it. Oh, they <laughs> did, yeah, because I think they had they both ended up doing each other's moves. Huh, yeah, Stone Cold did the rock bottom, yeah. and uh, the Rock did the stunner. But yeah, dude, fucking the Rock and Stone Cold, Stone Cold and the Rock can't really put them at a one and two. Mm, so we'll just mesh them together at one and two. Number three. <laughs> yeah <laughs> shit <laughs> but all right well i want to thank our friend ivan here for joining us wow. before he leaves yeah. i'm kind of curious ivan what's your favorite episode so far of what oh of oh, your guys yeah, top yeah. 10. i'm thinking i'm looking back not, not memorable. <laughs> There's just too many. <laughs> this one. No, I know. no well, obviously now. <laughs> no, but um, I th- I like the the Disney original movies. Although I did have some disagreements. But, <laughs> no, but it was good. A lot of controversy. Yeah. Got a lot of flack on <laughs> that one. You, guys <laughs> yeah. you should have seen the comments. <laughs> <laughs> no thirteenth year. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> hey. Wasn't he on my list? I don't think so. No. I don't remember. No. Oh no, he wasn't. No. No, that's true. Yep. Yeah. Maybe it was. Merman. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's it's cool. These are it's fun. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Entertaining. Cool. I love it. Yeah. Well, that was five years later also earlier. Yep. With the track Brad Pitt. Check it out. We'll have them in uh in the bio down below. We'll have their links and everything where you can reach them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um Thank you, everybody, for listening. Really appreciate it. We're going to keep on going on and trucking on. Um, Remember, our show comes on every Wednesday at 8 Mm a.m. No, sorry. (laughs) 12 (laughs) a.m. If you want to be on the show or 
if you have any music you want to send our way to be able to play on our show, let us know. Instagram, Michael and Jeffrey, Michael and Jeffrey's dot top 10 on Facebook. It's Michael and Jeffrey's top 10. And our email is Michael and Jeffrey's top 10 at gmail.com. Let us know. Mm-hmm. We want some people. We want to talk to some people. We want to play some music. We want to put it out there into the world. Well, thank you guys for listening. Thank you. Thank you for Ivan for coming on. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Of course. Of course. My name is Michael. And I'm Jeffrey. And we love to pickle. Have a good night, guys. Check it out.